Hey, what's going on? This is Minister Gold. I am a Kaizo and Variety streamer, um, and I use Mix It Up daily. This is a Mix It Up tutorial on how to set up a follow notification. Um, also, in a previous video, I went over how to set up an auto block and ban of bots. And the way this tutorial is related to that is that this will also make it so that it doesn't show follow notifications for any bots that follow you. Um, the reason why I'm going through this tutorial is because I'm gradually getting away from Streamlabs because I'm convinced that you can pretty much do anything with Mix It Up. So yeah, let's jump into the notification. Click on the menu in the top left. Let's click on events. And we want something to happen when someone follows. So we're going to the Twitch channel followed event. Add a command there. And the first thing you'll see is my auto ban conditional. I'm not going to go over it in detail here. I'll go over it briefly as it relates to the follow notification. Um, if you want to see how to implement this, you can watch a previous video that I made on it. Okay, so for every um, person that follows, we're checking if any of these are in their username Man of Steel, Host Manolia, Host with a Zero, Host. And if they are, we ban them so they can't chat in our in our stream and we block them so that they are removed from our followers list. Okay. Now in this conditional, we are checking that the, the username of uh, whoever follows us does not contain Man of Steel, Haas, Manolia, Haas of the Zero, or Host. The angle brackets contains means it does not contain. Okay. If they don't don't contain any of these things, then we're going to show a notification. Okay, and the breakdown of the notification is pretty simple. Um, so first of all, uh, this is a GIF. You can just add that by looking for overlay, hit the plus sign, and for my GIF, I just put it in the center using simple. And in general, what I'd advise you to do is when you add a new item, one at a time, you want to test it. Okay. So if I hit play on this particular like GIF, this is what it looks like. Okay. And uh, if you don't put a specific width or height, it'll just default to its um, like default width and height. Uh, set the duration. If it's not if it's on zero, then it just won't show. Uh, you can set a f an entrance and exit animation. If you don't put an exit or an entrance and exit animation, it'll just like flash on and flash off. I think if you fade it in, fade it out, it just looks nicer. Okay, then I have an associated sound. Just go to action, uh, action, and then look for sound, and then add that if you want that. Um, now these next two are text. Okay. So this one is going to be the username, the person who followed. Um, just select text over here. Um, now we're using dollar sign user display name because that retains the case of the username. So if you look at Minister Gold here, if we used username, just dollar sign username, it would be all lowercase. Uh, if we use user display name, it looks exactly like this. It keeps the capital M and G. So that's why I'm using that. You can set the size to whatever you want, even though it's not listed here. Like, let's say you wanted a uh, 16, just type it in. Uh, type it in. There you go. And hit play. And there you go. Now it's small. I'm going to set it back to 24. Uh, same with the color. You'll notice right now it's yellow. Um, I actually chose like just the name yellow, but instead what you can do is you can go to Google, type in color picker, pick anywhere on the spectrum. You can have any color in this entire spectrum here. I can click over here and get this specific shade of like pink slash purple. Uh, so I'll copy that. I will paste it here in the color. And we will play to test it. And there it is. Okay, we'll bring that back to yellow. 
Uh, also, they have a lot of fonts. Choose whatever you want. Um, I don't know if you can add fonts. Um, that's something I'd have to look into. Um, oh yeah, also I have it set to bold and italics, just for emphasis. And then you saw earlier how the GIF I used simple, and then I had it centered. Uh, it's different in this case. It is centered for uh, like left. Now, position percent from left is just like literally, let's say from left, from the left side of the screen to the right side of the screen. Um, if you go from, if you say 100% uh, from the left, that means you're not going to see it on the screen anymore. Um, so I'll show you an example. So right now it's on 50. I'll put it 100%. You're not going to see it on the screen. Let's press play. Okay, so you're seeing nothing because it is off screen. But if I go like 95% or something, now you're just going to barely see it on screen. You see that M popping out right there? So that's what position percent from left means. I'm going to put it back to 50 because that's what I want. Okay. And position percent from top works the same way. If I say 100% from the top, that means you're not going to see it on screen anymore. It's going to be just below the bottom edge of the screen. Okay, so that is how those work. Layer position is if um, there are going to be elements overlapping with each other. The higher the layer position, um, the uh, more priority it has as far as overlapping. So um, if we have one item that's one, another that's two, the one that's two will be overlapping the one that's one. Okay. Um, and I give it a shake animation just to give it emphasis. Let's go look at the next one, also text. Uh, thank you for the follow. And uh, my username, the username for the person following me is at 66. This is in the same position, but at 61. It's a little, um, it's a little higher than um, Minister Gold because it's 61%. 66% from the top is going to be lower than 61% from the top. Okay. Um, so that is thank you for following. We can show you those real quick. Uh, yeah, so Minister Gold is lower. Thanks for the follow is higher. Okay. Um, let's see. And then finally, I have a chat message when someone follows. Uh, thank you for the follow, dollar sign, user display name, and then, you know, whatever you want to say after that. Okay. And then if we play this follow, not this follow notification, this is what it looks like. It's, it's, it's not to meet you. It's not to meet you. Consider this song I way to greet you. <laughs> okay. So yeah, that is what mine looks like. Maybe you want to put it somewhere else on the screen, but that's how I did it. Uh, now let's do a quick review, and uh, that'll be it. Okay, so we're checking to make sure that whoever's following us does not have um, the text patterns that we associate with a bot. With a bot, um, I'm adding a GIF. You don't have to; it's up to you. I'm adding a sound to go with it. Um, the display name. And uh, you can use a hex value you can get from Google with a color picker and put that for your color. You can set whatever size you want. Just click it in, click in here and type in the number you want for the, um, for the size. I don't know what the max size is. I don't know what the minimum size is. I haven't played with that, but that's something you can play with if you're curious. Um, give it an entrance and exit animation, um, whether it's the GIF, whether it's this, if you don't want it to just flash in and flash out. And in animation, if you want to emphasize the username of whoever's following you. And again, the further along this slider you are, the further away from the left it'll be. The furthest on the slider, on the percent, position percent from top you are, the further down from the top it'll be. Okay. 
and use layer position to overlap elements. Okay, and then uh, this one is higher. This is thanks for the follow because it is closer to the left of the slider, to the left side of the, the slider than the um, where the username is. 66 versus 61. Okay. And then we have a chat message to thank the follower in chat. And that is pretty much it. That, was, that is how you set up a follow notification and also one that does not um, listen to or show uh, notifications for bots. Okay. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and please leave a like if you like the video and please subscribe if you want to see more of these kind of videos and please leave a comment if you have an idea for what I can make. That would be helpful for you. And that is it. Adios.